Welcome to the channel guys. I've got a cancel tool, two and a half pound boys axe. Ordered it on Amazon. It was not not real cheap, not real expensive. Uh, I think it was about 75 bucks. It's got a, a nice meaty handle um, that could certainly be profiled. It's got a little leather scabbard on it. Fits really tight. I think that'll stretch out over time. Um, it's got a little bit of a varnish on it maybe, but we're going to scrape on that, sand on it a little bit, get some boiled linseed oil going, and we might even burn this handle. Give it a little, uh, get, get the uh, wood grain to come out a little bit. It's a pretty sharp axe. They set the handle pretty nicely. Um, he had another axe that was very old, and first time he had a couple overstrikes, we broke it. So. I just thought we're gonna start over. I don't have time right now to build him a custom axe. And honestly, a boy's first axe, you don't wanna put a whole lot of time into the handle. Um, this'll probably end up getting multiple handles, but we're gonna start off with this one and see where we get. So, let's get these stickers off of here. Yep. So, one trick with stickers is rub on them a whole bunch. Okay. And they might get Warm enough. Yep, yeah, it's making my finger hot. It is. And we're gonna get these stickers to let go. Could also use a heat gun, but we'll see if they'll just come off. I hope they do. Yep. There's one. This two. Yep. Yeah, there's two. They came off easy. Yep. This is garbage can. Go put them in the garbage. Garbage can's huge. Yeah, garbage can's really full. So generally, I'll take a sharp knife and. Slowly just work this stuff off of here. So, not to bore you, we're gonna come right back and uh, we'll see what it looks like. So we scraped, scraped all the lacquer finish off with the uh, pocket knife edge. And this is some real rough kind of sanding mesh. Works pretty good for just making sure it's all off of there. We'll get to some finer paper and get this smoothed out. I ran away from you. Yep. So, all that natural wood, we don't have any of that varnish on there or whatever they put on there. Like that, that's smoother. Yep. Two on? Yep. The red light is two on. Okay. <clears throat> All right, we've been sanding on this thing for oh 10-15 minutes. Not going crazy. This is this thing's gonna get beat up. It's probably gonna get left out in the rain at some point, and I'm sure he'll have some overstrikes. So we're gonna put some uh, paracord around the big end here. That will hopefully protect that a little bit. But uh, I'm just using some 220 is what I'm up to now. I started out with eight, the knife and then 80 grit and now we've got some 220 and really bringing the wood grain out and making this a different handle. All right, what do you think? Is that better? Yeah. You like that? Mm -hmm. So, if you can see that, hopefully that'll focus. So, we're gonna burn this sucker. Yeah. Yep, go, go over to the carryall and get the green torch. Okay. So once we've got everything shaped how we want it, I did, I ground that down a little bit, had a big mark from the staple and uh, I'm getting, getting to like this. This is looking really good. Torch. Yep, no. Okay. You can't stand there. You need to stand over here. So okay. switch me sides. All right. I'm pretty happy with that.
going around and around. Just showing off that wood grain. And we'll sand it a little bit more. And we'll oil it. Yep, it's really hot. All right, that's what it's gonna look like. It is? Yeah, it's a little patchiness to it, I don't know why. Burned a little too much, a little too light, I don't know. It's gonna work though, nice and smooth. Okay, I think that's how that's supposed to go. Sand it a little bit. Nice. Oh, it's a little rough right there. Let's sand that real quick. Uh, is it perfect? I think so. What do you think? Well, that's pretty warm. Yeah. Okay. That's a lot of rims to you, little. Yeah. Yep. A little bit. That's okay. Okay, we're gonna put some Obanoff's boot oil on this. I want to do it. You want to do it? Mm-hmm. Okay. And you hold that in your hand and just scrub it all over it. This will make this last a long time. Yep. And the axe too. Yeah. Put a couple layers of that stuff on here, and we'll keep this from cracking over time. Okay. Okay. That's what we're looking like now. I did get a little bit of a tiger strike to it, but I think it looks good. It's going to wear in. He's going to learn how to swing it, and that'll be another video. We'll get some chopping done. You like it? Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to do this. I think... You did that? I think I did that. The phone's gonna be stuck. Yep. Making it nice and tight. Uh -huh. Nice and snug. Uh -huh. Never know how much paracord I need until I'm at least halfway done. This is looking like I've maybe got some extra, so that'll be fine. Yep. We're going to get up to there. All right, GoPro went dead. Let's give it a shot, bud. That's a little far. This one's a little longer than your other axe. Yep. Give it a try. There you go. I'm doing that off slow. Yeah. Because this is the brand new axe. Okay, give it a crack. There you go. Okay, give that one a swing and hit it. There you go. Good job, bud. We'll get you splitting wood here in no time. Mm -hmm. hey, you can just hit it down to me. Because this one is really soft. Oh, oh, oh. 